Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey everybody, how are you? This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. We're on this channel. We are seeking to live life inspired. This morning, guys, I want to ask you a question. What is your passion? What is your passion? What is your passion? Not what is your purpose, but what is your passion? What is it that gets you out of bed in the morning? What is it that motivates and moves you to go to work every day? What is it that motivates or moves you to get on YouTube every day or to whatever it is you're doing? What is it that gets you going? Basically, what I'm asking you is, what is your why? Why do you do what you do? And if you do not have an idea or know what your why is, you need to find it. Why do you need to find it? Because motivation only lasts for a very short time. But inspiration, the indwelling of the spirit that moves us into action, inspiration lasts a lifetime. So those mornings where you're not going to want to get out of bed to go work out, or like me, um, you're not going to want to get out of bed to go work out, or you're like, oh, I don't want to get up and go to work today, or oh, I don't want to go and make that video, or oh, I don't want to go and walk down the street and, I don't know, walk the neighbor's dog, whatever it is that it is that you do every day. If you do are not inspired by your why, if you have no why, if you have no reason to be successful, if you have no why, you won't get the what. Now, I, I get it. You're like, well, Lisa, what about this letting go of the process, letting go of this, letting go of that? Do that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what is your why. Why is your goal so important to you? Why do you have to achieve your goal? Why do you have to have success? And not in a bad way. Why are you marching towards the goal? And I will tell you too, if it is simply just to have money, it's probably not going to work. You want to know why? That's not a real good reason. Find your why. Find your why. And let your why be significant, even if only to you. Let your why be significant. Let your why be something that is impactful. Let your why be something that's outside of you. Let me tell you the most powerful whys are not even centered around us. The most powerful whys are centered around others. Why did I seek to lose, or why did I lose 85 pounds about four or five years ago? Why did I do that? Because my oldest granddaughter was about to be born and I wanted to live to see her grow up. That's a why, people. That's a why. Why do I do what I do? Why am I doing this? Why am I why am I on this channel? Why? Because of you. Because I know that if I can just reach one person and help them find their help them find their why to their what, they'll launch. They will launch and they will not stop until it's done. My why is to help you. What's your why? Put it down in the comments below. Guys, please like, subscribe, share, 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 share. I want the tribe to grow. Okay? But leave me your why. I want to know. Leave me your why. Because when you put your why down, you are responsible for it. And guess what? It crystallizes, it gets down in you, and it catapults you on your day. All right, guys, every day, live life inspired. I'm Lisa. I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great one. Bye.